Hi guys! Welcome to Infomax! In this video, we're going to talk about examples of how to use the laws of logic in the proofs. Please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your comments below. If we have S is equivalent to T, then in a proof, we can substitute S with T, and we can also substitute T with S. When we have to prove that S is equivalent to T, we have to analyze the problem and find a strategy to prove it. We can start from S and derive to T, or we can start from T and derive to S. But we can also start from S and from T, and meet somewhere in between. Now, let's discuss some examples. Number 1. Prove that not P and open bracket if Q then P close bracket is equivalent to not P and not Q. Proof. Not P and open bracket if Q then P close bracket is more complicated than not P and not Q. So, if we start with not P and open bracket, if Q then P, close bracket, and try to get to not P and not Q. Analyze not P and open bracket, if Q then P, close bracket, it contains implication. While in not P and not Q, there is no implication. So, we have to get rid of the implication. That is by the employer law. Not P and open bracket if Q then P close bracket is equivalent to put the sign not P and open bracket not Q or P close bracket. What law should we apply next? Well, look at the laws. Which law has forms similar to this? Absorption? No. Because, in absorption, same proposition should appear outside and inside the bracket. But here we have not P outside the bracket and P inside the bracket. Associative? No, because for associative, the operation should be the same. How about distributive? Yes. We can try that. So this is equivalent to open bracket not P and not Q close bracket or open bracket not P and P close bracket. Don't forget to put the argument distributive. The argument is very important. The reasoning that is logic. Now open bracket not P and not Q close bracket already the same as the destination but we still have or open bracket not P and P close bracket how do we get rid of it now we can apply commutative law so this is equivalent to open bracket not P and not Q close bracket or open bracket P and not P close bracket, with argument commutative law. We are almost there. Next, you see P and not P. What is it equivalent to? Yes, it is equivalent to zero, according to the inverse law. Hence, open bracket, not P and not Q, close bracket, or open bracket, P and not P close bracket is equivalent to open bracket not P and not Q close bracket or zero with argument inverse law. Finally, how to get rid of or zero? Yes, with identity law. So open bracket not P and not Q close bracket or zero is equivalent to our final destination not P and not Q, with the argument identity law. So now, we're done. 
Number two, prove that open bracket P or open bracket Q and R close bracket close bracket or not open bracket P or open bracket Q and R close bracket close bracket is equivalent to one. This looks complicated, but if you look carefully, then you will see that this and this are exactly the same. Only here you have the not. So if this is S, then we have simply S or not S. So which law can we apply? Yes, the inverse. So this is equivalent to one with the argument the inverse law. So now we're done. Number three, prove that not open bracket, not P and Q close bracket and open bracket P or Q close bracket is equivalent to P. In this case, the left proposition is more complicated. So we're going to work from left to right. Look at this first part. This looks like the Morgan's law. Only here, not P instead of P. So we apply the Morgan's law, distribute the not, and change the operation and to R. So this is equivalent to, we put this symbol here, open bracket, not, not, P or not, Q, close bracket, and open bracket, P or Q, close bracket. Don't forget to put the argument we use. Again, it is very important. Namely, we apply them the Morgan laws. Next, it is easy. We apply the double negation. Open bracket, P or not Q, close bracket, and open bracket, P or Q, close bracket. The argument is double negation. What next? Look at the list of laws. Which one look like this? Note that the equivalent is commutative. So, the left side is equivalent to the right side, and the right side is also equivalent to the left side. Now, this looks like the distributive. But here, not Q instead of Q, and Q instead of R. So, we apply the distributive, put the equivalent symbol, we get P or open bracket, not Q, and Q, close bracket. Then what? Maybe it will be easier if we apply the commutative law first to not Q and Q. So we get P or open bracket, Q and not Q, close bracket. Next what? Absorption? No, for absorption, P should appear also in the bracket. So which one? Yes, the inverse. Q and not Q is equivalent to zero. So, this is equivalent to P or zero, with argument inverse law. Finally, what? Yes, it is easy. Apply the identity law, so this is equivalent to P. So, we are done. We have proved this logical equivalence. Exercise. Now, you can try this. Thank you for watching.